cornfield near Annie Edom Creek, Maryland, September 17th, 1862. It's just before 6 a.m., and the Union First Corps is preparing to advance on Confederate General Thomas Stonewall Jackson's forces north of Sharpsburg. Confederate General Lee had planned to attack Antietam, but his battle plans were lost and later found by Union soldiers, allowing the Union to strike first. At 6 a.m., the Union forces had 35 cannons open fire on the 7,000 Confederate forces. Once the fire ceased, 12,000 Union soldiers charged across the 40-acre cornfield. Confederate soldiers opened fire on the advancing Union, using muskets, canisters, and cannons. Early before 7.30, the Confederate lines almost gave in, but Confederate Generals Hood and Hill reinforced the Confederate lines and stopped the advancing Union I Corps. Over the course of the charge, the I Corps lost 25% of their men, and their leader, General Hooker, was wounded. After Hooker's failed charge, Union General Mansfield was tasked with leading the 12th Corps on the next assault. Mansfield led his men into the fray, but was mortally wounded at the start. The 12th Corps pressed on and was able to gain control of the East Woods and a portion of the cornfield. Overall, the assault lasted 29 minutes. At 9 a.m., General Sumner began the final assault on Jackson's position, coming down from the Northeast. The lull in fighting had allowed Jackson to readjust his line preparing a trap for the oncoming 18,000 Union soldiers. In less than 20 minutes, Sumner's forces suffered a casualty rate of 50%. With the Union forces in chaos, General Jackson ordered his troops to charge into the cornfield and attack the Union forces in the north. Union troops, hidden from view, opened fire on Jackson's advancing troops. Caught by surprise, Jackson ordered his men to retreat. After four hours of fighting, the battle for the cornfield was over.